Hey everyone, and welcome to another video. This time we're going to look at an essential part of making your own game changers, and this is how to make your pike brushes. Now the game changers is an awesome fly. If you haven't tried one or tie one, they're a bit time consuming to make, but they are absolutely brilliant. You can strip them, you can jerk them, uh, you can weigh them at the front, there's many many possibilities with them and they catch a lot of fish. Now you can buy ready-made um, brushes if you want but I like to make my own firstly because I can choose the color combo that I need and uh, secondly uh, you can keep the price down a lot by making your own. If you're going to make a lot of brushes, I recommend strongly to build a little table like this one. It's uh, fairly easy, basic construction, a little bit of timber and uh, a few screws, that's all you need. It's, uh, it'll save you a lot of time and it'll make the brushes a lot easier that way. Feel free to press pause at any time if you want to have a closer look at that table. But uh, you can find plans on, on Google very easily. There's many different ones. I just wanted to keep mine plain and simple and uh, it works the same way as any other more complicated tables. So on one side you can put your carless drill and on the other side just a hook to secure the stainless steel wire. For making your own brushes, what you need is a cordless drill, a hook, some canicalon hair, some angelina fiber, some congo hair. The wire I use is 0.2 mm stainless steel wire, a good pair of scissors, and a brush to untangle the, the mess that you're gonna make and some stick glue to hold everything together while you spin. If you click on the link below, I uh, will include all the shopping list and the type of wire that I use uh, on the blog of the, the website. First I put a generous layer of uh, Congo hair, I like to, for the pike brushes I like to cut uh, one length of Congo hair in four bits, equal parts. It's important to spread out your fibers evenly and not to leave any gaps if you want a good brush. Now we put a layer of uh, canicalon hair. Canicalon is uh, handy because it's a stiffer fiber and uh, it'll give a little bit more bounce inside the, the brush. It'll give a little bit more air and it'll help all the Congo hair not to clump it on each other when they get wet. Again, make sure that all the fibers are well and evenly spread out. Now for the bling, I like to use uh, Angelina fiber. Great stuff, it comes in many different colors. Uh, it's up to you after to see how much of that do you need. Do you need a, a lot of reflection in the water? Do you need a dull fly? It's up to you to, to experiment with uh, the amount of Angelina fibers. To 
To close up the brush uh, on the top wire I like to use a little bit of um, stick glue. This, this will help all the fibers to stay together while you start spinning. Now it's time to remove the pin holding the table. Um, I like to hold the table by hand so I can judge the pressure I can give to the wire and the brush and I slightly and slowly release the, the table as I spin the, the brush. This will help the fiber to stay uh, inside the wire and not to come apart and fall on the ground. So. How much do you have to spin your brush now? That's another good question. Um, too much spin and the wire will snap and not enough spin. And when you're gonna start brushing and untangling your, your fibers, everything will fall apart. I guess this will come with experience. Uh, you'll have a few failures maybe at the beginning, but you'll get better at it as you go. Now that's it, thanks for watching this video, now you know how to make your own pike brushes. As usual, um, play with uh, different color combos, see what works best for your waters, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you, bye!